Oh. Um, um. What the heck? Welcome back, Tri-Tech, everybody. everybody. We everybody. just finished the fifth trial last episode, a very long last episode, and now we're looking at this. But a quick theory for you guys, a quick little little thing for you guys. Oh, okay. Shuichi. Oh, oh, this one, okay. Likes novels, okay? Yeah. What if that's the reason he found the hidden door in the first place, is he's, like, chilling in the library, like, I like books, and then he found the hidden bookcase. Think about it. Anyway, let's start the video. <laughs> yeah, I, that's that's a sound theory, I think. Did you say you were gonna make me do this voice? Yeah. So that way, because you only- I, I'm assuming it's Junko, right? No, it's Ryoma. The killing game will never end. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> never ever. I'm not actually gonna do this. Oh, okay. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. I like that voice for Junko. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I wanna have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Such despair. That doesn't sound like Junko. It sounds like Himiko. <laughs> uh, yeah, kinda. Later that night. Oh boy. <laughs> find myself standing. I don't know why. I thought it said shatting in that one spot in the courtyard. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the place where Kaido and I would train together. Oh yeah, he died like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, and Kokichi's dead now. That's what's like. It, it, wow. It took me, like, yesterday at the end of that, like, video, I was like, oh, like, oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> Seriously. It took me. I feel better with it now that I've had a day to, like, process things, like... I kind of didn't think about it at all, honestly. So I'm still, like, right back in the, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, fair enough. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. Chest. But still, I... I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Morning. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should learn oh. how. Maki! Hey. So, you came too. Okay. Yeah. Time for our training. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaido into a corner. Just like Kaede, I, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> yeah, all my friends are dead. Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Okay. Yeah, lonely. My I... bromance is over. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Shuichi and Maki can probably, like, especially relate to each other now. Yeah. You know? I mean, we're all we have left is just us two. But yeah, both of the, the love interests, so to speak, are gone. I wonder if these two will start to like each other or if not. If they'll I, just I, stay I, mourning. I don't want them to. Yeah. I like the idea of it being, like, a platonic besties type thing. Mm-hmm. So, I... I feel so lonely and so sad. I I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaido. If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. Girl, you're crying right now. <laughs> yeah. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who have passed on don't want to see us miserable. We can maybe bring him back to life. I'm, they, I'm like, crossing my fingers. <laughs> I'd say everyone but Keo. That's probably a bad idea to bring him back. That would be a bad idea to so, bring him back. Well, just let him chill. Now that you mention it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, so you guys were here after you all. You weren't invited. Yeah. <laughs> just like I thought. <laughs> she was behind us the whole time. She's phased in. Jeez. I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Is Kibo here. Ah. Oh. Samuki, Himiko. Um. If you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Not what we were doing, but yes, let's huh? do it. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. 
Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaido. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. What's that, like the fifth time we're saying this now? <laughs> mm, I only believe it because it's chapter six after this. Yeah. And that's it. I'm sure we're going to come across one final, like, despair -y thing, though. Oh, yeah. And it'll be the final time we, like, overcome it. Chapter 6 is going to be just a whole lot of, like, I'm miserable. I, wait, I have hope. Oh, no, I'm miserable again. Oh, my God, I have hope. No, I'm sad again. <laughs> you think Shuichi will become another, like, ultimate hope kind of guy? Or? That's kind of the theme of it. I mean, because Makoto Naegi literally turned into the ultimate hope. You saw Hajime turn into some white-haired, like, Super Saiyan Yeah, guy. he, like, <laughs> dyed his hair. He's like, hold on, guys, I have to have my moment. Like, ran behind the curtain. You, like, he comes out with, like, sopping wet hair. I'm cool now. I'm cool now. Which makes, like, no sense in the moment, but I guess it does if it's a simulation. Yeah. It's just, like, his psyche. Well, I, I imagine it was, like, the ultimate combination of Hajime and Izuru. Because he got, like, the red eyes he had. True. True. Though I don't know, like, why having pale white blonde hair is, like, the ultimate, like, power up, you Became a know? pop star. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. <laughs> <laughs> Kaido said it best. I'm not alone. Aww. That's cute. That's right, I have friends. Except Kibo, apparently. Yeah, I don't know what's going I, on. I don't here. know why he would need to train, though, anyway. Get the circuits moving, I guess. <laughs> Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope, too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Look, I love this is how you're feeling, but also you've said this, like, a hundred other times, so... I don't know, this time it's a little different, because it's like... Because it'll be chapter six. <laughs> Well, okay, here's a question. Because now we know everything, or like close to everything. If you knew there was like two more chapters after this, would you be saying the same thing? Fair. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Fair. They don't know what's coming next, but they still know they're in the killing game right now. Yeah, I know, I know. Despair cannot defeat me. I'll hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaido. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness. Fear, worry, and hardship. I love how annoyed <laughs> Maki is he's not doing anything. I know. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Looking back on it now, like, I'm sure she's got some context, you know? Yeah. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> you have a lot to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Your next week is going to be torture, dude. Yeah. Hey, no fair, Kaito. <laughs> So what hey. is up with Kibo now? We might find out. Oh, by the way. Sorry. That's right. Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Nah. What is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But... But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. Yeah, don't forget his little antenna thing that flew off. It's quiet. That's Kibo. Too quiet. Yeah, his voice went away. That, that totally was an antenna then. Yeah. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. Is it just me or does that look like missile That's what, exactly like what launchers on his back right now? Yeah. It would fill me with the power of hope. Guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. Okay, well I'm glad you said that. I thought you were about to have an emo phase. Mm -hmm. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school... This ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is steeped in despair. Do you think his lab could have some, some like, missile salvo things? Oh, yeah. We never saw anything, you know? We never really checked. Oh. Um. Um. 
What the heck are you yeah, doing? He just Kibo? flew in the air. <laughs> Did we see that? I will destroy it. Destroy what? What do you say? The despair? The academy. The academy. Hey, destroy. So I live here. <laughs> yeah, we still kind of need it to survive. Yeah, like this is where my food spawns in. Hey! <laughs> Kibo! What? what are you doing? I really hope you're like. I hope we're out of the way. Yeah. Voyage without passion or purpose. That was the last chapter, okay. Right. God, yeah. Wow, they're just gone now. The two, like, mainest main characters that could be. Yep. Dang. <sighs> Aww. <laughs> Do we get something from Kokichi, too? I wish Shuichi would wear it, honestly. <laughs> I don't think he'd make it work. No, probably not, but it'd still be cute. It is a cool jacket design, though. It is. I always like it when jackets have a different inside color than an outside color. Or just something noticeable enough, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Even his slippers were a uh, galactic pattern. I don't know who this is. But maybe Kibo. I'm just going to read it. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. Oh, it's Makoto! Oh, okay. How did I do his voice? <laughs> I don't know. That was still you, I think. My name's Makoto. I don't have any talents or anything. I'm just a regular teenager. Oh. Oh, you're not the same this one. This boring looking person is me. Right? That's not the same guy? No, it's definitely not. Who is that? See? Even the way I look is normal. Kinda ugly, but yeah. Getting into an elite school like this was just the oh, start of oh, my bad oh, luck. Oh, 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 that's Kibo. Oh! Yeah. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teacher's lectures. Probably. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. But I'm okay. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, all right. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. What is That's that? That's why I'm gonna be okay. What are you looking forward to? <laughs> Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. <laughs> Rule 34. I think it's Junko. Oh, maybe. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. Also... And... What? Do those look like Rintaro's eyes at all? Oh, you know, maybe. Because they don't really look like Kibo's eyes that much. That was just a guess. Yeah. It, it also looks like Shuichi's. It's just hard to say. Look at Shuichi's, though. Like, they actually look identical. Uh, maybe. There, yeah, his maybe. is a little darker, though. Makoto's, quote-unquote. Yeah. One day, I'll also... Also what? Don't cliffhanger me. A cliffhanger. God dang it, don't cliffhanger me. Also, blow up the school, probably. Is that like, is he the blue thing flying around? Yeah, that's either him or the missiles. Ugh. Also, why? What does this accomplish? <laughs> but what happened? What did you say? The school building blew up. Well, what happened? Hey. Hey, over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. <laughs> what are you trying to do, bro? <laughs> Holy crap! I commend your strength, but um... What does this do for us? Yeah. Huh? K Kibo! What was that? Kibo, what are you doing? Yeah. You're flying! Is it magic? That punk. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. But how do we stop him? All right. We have to talk to him. We can get him to come down. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is happening? <laughs> it's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Oh, I mean, we could always my. duck into the, the way out if we need to, you know? Yeah. It's pretty underground, I think. Yeah, you're right. It's probably still filled with, like, traps, though. Well. Oh, are you just talking the, like, sewer-ish area, yeah. though? Yeah. Confused by the situation <laughs> unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. What is he trying to do? I thought he didn't want to be all mecha. I don't think he does, but... 
pretty cool though. <laughs> yeah. Are we really just gonna see the school get like crumpled? It's like a battlefield. Damn it! Don't we need to get his attention? Get him to come down. Please! Kibo, come here! Hey! Are you trying to get us killed? Kibo! Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. Say something at least. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt midair, and then slowly flew down to us. <laughs> That's scary. Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. What's up? Did you call for me? Yeah, I did. You want to explain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. You think? Okay. Huh? Other <laughs> matters? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I'm going to end the killing game. Huh? End the killing game? Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. What did you say? Destroy it. You know you have average intelligence, right? Like, oh, well, maybe not anymore. Can't you like talk to it? Yeah, maybe not anymore. That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy the school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon. Hey. It's with that weapon and the jetpack. Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab? Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. When did you learn to do that? <laughs> I don't Wait. know. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? I guess he downloaded more data, maybe? Did something happen? Uh, um... Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. That's right. You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human. A creature of flesh and blood like you all. I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... That's true. My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end the killing game. You can't! But hold on. If you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? Yeah. Are you gonna, like, farm and feed us too? Like, yeah, that's we... where all my food is at. <laughs> Shoot at Monokuma instead. There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside the spaceship, you know? Right. That's right. Are you trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions results in your deaths, so be it. Huh? This guy learned nothing. So be it. What did he... What happened to him? Like, what, what hope is he clinging on to? What is he hoping for right now? Yeah. He said, I'm not going to give in to despair while you're killing everyone. <laughs> That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he is right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember, our hope is everyone here, our friends who are still alive. You're right! Yeah, if we all work together, even this killing game will... 100%. It will not stop. It'll never stop. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed. Humanity is extinct. We have no home to return to. We can just live in what? space for a while. I mean, it's a plain existence, but it'd work. I mean, we don't even have to go to space. We have right here. Yeah. Like, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. That might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma is right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. But, like, clearly the spaceship has ways to make food make oxygen yeah make a livable environment like we could stay here the rest of our lives if we just can deal with monokuma somehow we don't need to blow up the whole freaking thing <laughs> yeah there's this is like the last ditch choice you make and we're not really there yet yeah like chill chill hey and you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that logical that is a far better alternative than allowing monokuma to continue the killing game what was that? Uh, are you serious? You're dumb, dude. Your intelligence is an average. Listen you know? closely. Kaito and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. We must do it. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. Oh. Yeah, well, the dumb robot doesn't have to worry about the... The consequences of his actions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can survive in the world just fine. Yeah. Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. No. I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore? That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. 
I have decided. I've chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone! We can never submit to despair because we are students of Hope's Peak Academy. No. No, that's wrong. Why? Wrong? That's... Because there might still be hope. This There might still be a place to call home. Yeah, you're still going off of Kokiji's, like, mostly false information. Yeah. Well then, and what are you basing that claim on? That's wrong! Nothing! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but... I just have a feeling. You... Just a feeling? You sound like that idiot right now. Because... Kaido said so. It's just like Okichi said, if this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. There can be no killing game without an audience. Um... Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. Mm-hmm. This game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. <sighs> True, we cannot say that there is absolutely no possibility, but even a mere possibility. No, that's wrong! <laughs> that possibility is our hope! Huh? What? Because we haven't investigated everything. There's still a lot of mysteries in this school. If there are still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. Um, and that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. I see. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop this killing game your way. Thank you. Keepo! Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. Why? <laughs> huh? Until dawn? Dude, at least let me sleep. Like, I just got done with a really long trial uh, yeah. and everything. Like, yeah. Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn... 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> yeah, Monokuma's not gonna let that fly. Yeah. You're gonna end what now? But <laughs> He's doing ah, the dumb face didn't again. did I tell you? <laughs> it's impossible to end the killing game! Uh-huh. Cause the killing game is forever eternal! I, I think Kibo could take all those, honestly. I want to agree with you, but remember the Exosols are way stronger than you think they are. Like, they jumped up all the way to the ceiling of the trial room and stuff. Just to like switch sides, you know? Okay, yeah, that's true. So I would say you could take one or two or even three of them, but all five of them? But I mean, you'd have the aerial advantage. I think that count for a lot. True. I don't know what kind of guns they're equipped with though. We've never seen them really fired. Well, we only know oh, it's only one hand too. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Oh boy. Why you? He's back. Unbelievable. Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of school regulations. <laughs> it's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Hmm. Huh? Is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? Let's do this! Then let's kill him until he dies from it. Heck yeah! Leave <laughs> it to me! Ripping a robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all out this time. And that's that! Pops, can we kill him? Please? <laughs> They're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. Alright. Well, any last words? <laughs> Eek! They're all in battle mode! Guys, let me get out of the way first. Everyone! This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo! Are you okay? Yeah. Shuichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Well then. It's all in your hands now. Now go! Okay. Alright. <laughs> Where are we just gonna search now that we haven't searched the last month we've Never been here? Never forgive rule breakers! Anyone who messes with the killing game I really want to hear the normal voice that the Monokuma voice actor has. <laughs> yeah, I'd be curious to see what other roles he's played. Seriously. Exosols assemble! No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. It always surprises me, though, seeing, like, voice actors behind really, really cool characters and how just generic they look. Like, I think if you look at a picture of the Monokuma voice actor, he's just, like... Just a dude, probably. I, it's like a dad I've seen a thousand times before, you mm. know? <laughs> In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. Get him! That's how it began in the war between Kibo and the Exosols. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield.
That's gonna make it hard to investigate. It is. Where do we look? What's it called? Goodbye, Dang and Rapa. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds pretty final. That sounds very final. Normally I like to read into them, but I don't think I need to. Mm -mm. We ran to the entrance hall, trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Huh. Seems like the things have suddenly become really bad. <laughs> so the robot uprising finally happened. It's what I always feared, but... Why, you? I never expected it'd be like this. Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? That is weird. Like, he's leaving so many opportunities to fight back against him. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Right? I am. Yeah, yeah, I'd be terrified. Hey, what should we do? Remember, just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. <laughs> What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. What? And then kill them. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> the mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because... If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then, in that case... I don't know. But I thought the only ones saved by the Gopher Project were us 16 students. According to Kokichi. Nope. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? Well, according to the flashback, right. right? Yeah, that too. That someone could be the mastermind, hiding somewhere in the school. Um... <laughs> someone? You mean a remnant of despair, right? Just Junko again? That nah, seems too obvious. Well, we saw her, like, chilling. <laughs> yeah, but that's never anything. And someone else inside this academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair? That's true. If we can find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um... I, I don't know about killing them. But... There is the possibility that the Mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. That's right. Seems like it's worth a shot. But... And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find this mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. What does that look like? <laughs> hope? Remember! Our home, where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know there's hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. Jeez. Uh, this isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. well I have news for you, Himiko. <laughs> hey. Yeah. But if we look for it, we might just find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. Okay. There must be other rooms we haven't investigated yet. Oh, right! You're right. There's no point complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Part of me wants to check out the classroom we first uh, woke up in. The library mm. is where I want to start. Oh, that too, that too. Well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki. <laughs> she learned okay. to smile. Yes, that's right. All right. <sighs> My all right, God. mystery gang, roll this out. This is all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's Kibo out there. He might not be for long, though. Yeah. We need to find the hope and despair hidden in this academy. When all is revealed, the killing game won. <laughs> oh, okay. no, all right. <laughs> hey. Then let's split up and start searching. Yeah. We're gonna split up, but we were just in such a united mood. But, well, we don't have enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right. We'll see each other soon. Try not to get crushed by rubble. All right. I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? Oh, yikes. Oh. oh, a hole, a hole, jump in it. <laughs> well, maybe ladder in it, but that jumping would be working, I guess. I mean, we'll find another way up. Hmm. What? A hole? Now's the time to test your bonds with your friends. <laughs> the time to dawn in your bond with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. Don't t Oh crap, it's timed! Yep, yep, yep. Hold on, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need that! <laughs> I saw him floating back there. <sighs> Alright. Oh shoot! Oh, okay, that is not what I thought was gonna happen. There's a staircase. Why is there a staircase here? 
Was this staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mystery item? Hmm. There must be clues here. I have to investigate. Interesting. All right. <laughs> what better place to go? Yeah. Oh, I don't need Bond for this. Get out. Slap it. Slap it. Dang, the push-ups paid off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Um. God, what are we even going to find? Because I feel like we know, like, the majority of stuff. Just do the mastermind is, is the biggest mystery. It's broken, but from this door... Hmm. This must be an ultimate lab. Whose is that? It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. Kokichi or Rentaro's? Okay. Right. So that is Rentaro's then, the other one. It must be. It's Kokichi's, the ultimate supreme leader's lab. This door isn't supposed to open. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. Oh, we'll finally get to see Rentaro's then too. Because we can break the rules. Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. What is his even going to look like? This looks like all, like Aztec a little bit, you know? Yeah. No, he's Batman. Okay. Hmm, okay. Dice, huh? Hmm. Is that his organ? This is a Batman later. He's even got a Batmobile. Yeah. So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. There's nothing that would identify the remnants of despair. <laughs> Let's show them that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope and despair. Okay, okay. At that time, Kaido was in the Exosol. But it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. Yeah. Kichi and Kaido weren't there when we used that flashback light. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. This, dude, you're on like a time loop. I don't know if we should rant in our brains about all this. Well, it's not going down right now. Yeah. I, I like to think it's one of those things that like 0. 0.2 seconds goes by while he's singing all this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this lab was made for Kokichi. There should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's in somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. And we will in the next episode. Ooh. What happens if you fail the timer? You probably just get a game over and it restarts you. Probably. Um. Now that we've had a day to sit on it, I guess, what are your thoughts? On the fifth trial. Would you still say it's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah? That's fair. It was really good. Um, Just the, the whole confusion between, like, Kaido and Kokichi and who's doing what and what's doing why. It, it was a very hard one, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was the only one where I, have like, was legitimately, like, I just don't have any good theories right now. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the evidence we got was afterwards, too. Yeah, true. But that's, just like, that's like the gimmick of the fifth trials, you know? Mm-hmm. But I still really liked the Kyo one just because of how like crazy some of the theories got right yeah I, I enjoyed that one quite a bit that was my only real problem with the fifth trial is just because I it was so confusing and mm -hmm. convoluted in a way and it was so specific that I really had no room in my head for like oh I think this could have happened because it's like well there's like not much to go off of especially at first right but I still liked it a lot like I was thoroughly bamboozled the whole time. Exacto mundo. But I don't, un unless we learn a little bit more about Kokichi right now through this, I said this in like a rat attack theater, I think, that Kokichi would have a hard time beating Nagito. I still think I like Nagito more. I don't know. I like, I just think they're both, I love the gimmick of Nagito's luck versus Kokichi's lies. I, I think it's very interesting what Shuichi said about Kokichi kind of being the embodiment of a lie. Right. Like, how you could, even in the end, you could not really tell what he was thinking. Mm -hmm. Like the whole, yeah, the whole gimmick of it, like the whole game I was sitting here going like, I wonder if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Still pretty debatable. Like, I don't really know. <laughs> well, he was a remnant of despair. He, yeah. Like we know that as a fact. Yeah. So, I mean. So probably not good. <laughs> probably not good, but I don't know if he was entirely bad either, you know? No, but he probably just didn't like being forced into this, you know? Yeah. He said he didn't want to play a game he was forced to said to Shuichi's theme. Okay. But honestly, I need more time to think about the fifth trial before coming into like exact specific ideas with it. Yeah, either way, I really like the trial. It was very good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm excited to dive into the sixth chapter. I know a lot of people's opinions are very mixed on it, but so far I think it's pretty cool. Well, we're also like two inches in a foot, so. Yeah, we haven't really seen anything, but mm -mm. anyways. We will see you probably tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.
welcome to Philosophy with Rat Attack. The strongest macaroni is the one who farts the loudest. My wiener is <laughs> really big, Socrates. 2014. 2014. <laughs> <laughs> the rat that bites the moon at dawn is the one made of pebbles and rocks and other loose debris. My balls itch, Socrates, 2014. <laughs> I have eczema on my testicles, so now they itch really bad. This isn't a quote, I just need an input from a doctor. The light bulb that glows the brightest is the one on top of my uh, lamp. It's because I have three, <laughs> light bulbs, three light bulbs on my lamp. They said the world was going to end in 2012, but it actually ended when I banged your mom. Got him. Got him. Socrates 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I sag my pants because I have nothing to hide. I sag my pants so that I may easily access the ammo between my butt cheeks. The strongest cologne is the one that masks the sound of my tears. That one is kind of deep. <laughs> yeah no it wasn't yeah, <laughs> that, that makes no sense that i mean i don't know it kind of like cologne is like a shield for insecure people